Good evening everyone. A uh, short video today just to show a browser extension that I've, uh, I've come across that I think um, might be of interest to some people, particularly those uh, like me who perhaps prefer to run a dark theme on their PC. Uh, now there are limitations obviously to doing that. Uh, it will uh, impact your your general applications um, and the general shell of your operating system. But of course, when you're browsing the web, usually you're stuck with whatever the, uh, the designer of the website has decided you should have in terms of theming. Well, there's an answer to that um, in the shape of an extension that's available for um, various different browsers. If I bring up the web page here, it's called Dark Reader. And this is an extension for Chrome, we've got Firefox, and also for Safari for the Apple users out there as well. And essentially what this does is allows you to view web pages using a dark theme effectively. So I won't waste time on describing how that works or what they're doing. I'll just show you some examples from my uh, bar at the top of the screen here. So if I just bring up, for example, a page that's got plenty of text on white background. So this, for example, is an audio forum called Pinkfish Media. And you can see immediately, if you're, if you're looking at a dark screen environment and this suddenly flashes up, uh, it's not the best of experiences, to be honest. So what does this look like if we turn on Dark Reader? So let's go to the top here. This is the extension. We'll click and we'll turn on. And immediately you can see that actually looks quite nice. It's done a reasonable job. Now it doesn't get it right every time. Sometimes it'll, you know, you'll see some text that's is a little too lacking in contrast. But overall, it, it tends to make a reasonable pick of colours. Um, if we go in and look at uh, look at some of the threads, for example, here. Let's just pick uh, let's pick this one here, and you'll see this is how basically the pages render. We can see here how the images and the text look against the background. And that I think is pretty, pretty nice. It's definitely preferable to the white background if you like a dark theme. Uh, another one is Debian, the Debian main Debian site. If we click on that, and you can see that's how it looks with dark reader enabled. If we turn it off, so if we come up here and we disable, then it goes back to the default, which is this. I think much better as this. And again, you can see it's done a reasonable job of uh, color choices there. Um, so what does it look like on something that's very feature rich? So let's go to, for example, let's look at the BBC iPlayer page. And that's already got a dark theme. So what happens if you try to impose a dark theme on this? Well, let's try and see, shall we? That's on. And that's off. So you can clearly see there it makes very little difference because it's already got a suitable dark theme running there. So let's try something else. Let's try the BBC main news page. Now that has a light background. Uh, so you can see there. Now let's turn on the dark reader. And straight away we can see that's much better. It looks much more like, in fact, the um, the iPlayer BBC site. Uh, very readable, and I think a big improvement. Let's carry on and look at some more. Let's go to, uh, let's turn it off first of all, shall we? Uh, you can set this, by the way, on a per website basis, if you wish, and you can also tweak some of the tones here um, to tune it, if you wish, as well. But uh, these are just the default values at the moment. Uh, we'll turn it off. And we will go to Bunsen Labs, Bunsen Labs Linux. Now again, white background, black and colored text. We'll turn on, he says, doesn't seem to want to do it on this site. And why is that? Let's reload it, shall we? There we go. And again, looks very good. So, what about if we go to something like one of the big shopping sites? So, let's turn it off. Uh, let's go to, say, eBay. Here we are. eBay, very busy site. Lots of graphics, lots of text. 
what does that look like if we turn on dark and again very readable very usable so I won't waste any more of your time this was just a basically a demo of how that um, how that extension works I think it's very good it's one of the best extensions I think I've come across um, so do give it a whirl it's it's in as I say however you get your extensions for your browser just go to the store or whatever uh, place your extensions are stored download it install it and off you go hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon bye for now